Okay, so let's compare and contrast. So we're comparing and contrasting mammals and birds. So what do they have in common? What they have in common will go here where the two circles overlap and it says both, right? This is what they have in common, which means they're the same in those two ways. And then whatever only mammals have that birds do not goes in this part of the mammal circle. And in this part of the bird circle is uh, are characteristics that are unique to birds. So only birds have them and not mammals. So let's start by thinking about what they have on their bodies. What do mammals have on their bodies and birds do not? They have, think about it. We have it, hair. So everybody please write hair in the mammal uh, circle. Now you can pause this, right? Press the space bar on your computer to pause the video, or if you're watching on a um, on an iPad, I guess you would hit the, there must be something for a, a pause, the two little lines to pause it, you know how to do it. Um, you can pause it so that you have time to write it. Now what do birds have on their bodies that mammals do not? They have feathers. So everybody please write feathers in the, um, bird circle. Now the next thing we could think about is something that is unique to both um, that were unique to mammals and then unique to birds that have to do with their babies. So what do mammals do for their babies that birds do not? And it would be they make milk. So all mammals make their own milk for their babies. If you need to pause it, please pause it to write make milk. And what do birds, um, what do all birds have in common when they have babies that mammals do not? They hatch eggs, right? So the, the baby birds hatch from an egg. I didn't have enough room to write the word from, but they really hatch from eggs. So birds hatch from eggs, mammals do not. All right, next let's think about um, how they move. So one thing that is very unique to birds, now they don't all do this, but some birds fly, right? Do any mammals fly? No, only one type of a mammal flies. There's an exception and it's the bat, but mammals don't fly. And I put in parentheses, except for bats. And birds, some fly, not all birds fly, right? A lot of birds fly. More birds fly than don't. Um, some examples of birds that don't fly would be penguins, ostrich, um, something called a rhea, which is spelled R-H-E-A, a rhea. Um, and there are, there are a bunch of other animals. Uh, uh, there are other birds that don't fly, but a lot of them do fly. Now there's something else that a bird has that mammals do not have and it showed us a picture of it in the text. And I said there were two names for it, they're synonyms, and it's a bill or a beak. So birds have a bill or a beak, mammals do not. Again, pause it if you need to pause. Now let's talk about things that they both have in common. So this is the comparing part. We did the contrasting part first, which is things that make them different. Contrast, the compare part is what they have in common, what makes them the same. So the first thing that is one of the ways that they move, right? Mammals don't fly except for bats. Some birds do fly, but there are ways that they move that they have in common. Some run, right? Some mammals run, not all mammals run. Some mammals run. Some mammals swim, and that's the same with birds. Some birds run and some birds swim. Penguins swim, right? They also, they walk very quickly. They don't exactly run. Um, ostriches run. Other birds run and fly. So some run, some swim. Some, some mammals live on land and some live on water right? And that's the same with birds. 
They live on land and water. Now that's a little bit tricky because some, some mammals live only in the water, like whales, right? Birds, I don't think there are any birds that live only in the water, but penguins do live both on land and in water. And okay, they are, now this came from the brain pop video. It didn't mention it in the text, but they are warm blooded. Both of them are warm blooded. And that means that they regulate their own temperature. Um, okay, and the very last thing, this means to, we, they are both vertebrates. Vertebrates means that they have a vertebrae, which is your spine. That means the, your, the big, long, your spinal column, the big, long bone that goes all the way from the base of your head to, the, to your tailbone, which is, which is the, where your bottom is, um, that is your vertebrae. So both mammals and birds have a vertebrae. Okay, so that's a lot. Um, if you guys can fill all of this out, I would love to see it. If you can have your parents send it to me, that would be fantastic. I would love to see this filled out. Um, and that is it. So after this, you are going to work on two worksheets um, about comprehension questions about the text. I changed my mind first graders. You are going to have one worksheet instead of two and then you can work on the Lillo if you have extra time. Next, I can write in complete sentences. Which animal group is your favorite? Write about them and explain why they are your favorite. So you had a lot of work today. I only want you to write um, two sentences. One sentence telling me what is your favorite animal group? And one more sentence telling me why, okay? So um, that's it. Those are your two assignments and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.